Hashtag Young Justice needs a season three. Does that could become a thing? It sort of is a thing, a little bit. Um, let's just do Young Justice three. I mean, Young Justice season three. Hashtag Young Justice season three. My gosh, but there is a Facebook page, Young Justice needs the season three, and they are right. Young Justice needs a season three. I mean, in the freaking last episode, they killed one of the best characters. Spoiler alert, sort of, for people who haven't seen it. But we haven't said who it is, if you haven't seen it. So. But if you Kid Flash. <laughs> oh, well, if you haven't seen the show, you probably won't watch this video anyway. Cause it, Even if you do like this show, you probably won't watch the video. But anyway. Aqualad needs... We need to see, like, the Young Justice as, like, the new Justice League. That would be so cool, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Because it teases... It, and then you also got heroes changing. Like, Impulse is now awesome. Kid Flash. The new Kid Flash. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring Kid Flash back. But my guess How is they would bring... How long ago did it go off air? Uh, 2013. That's too long ago. I don't know. They're probably not going to bring it back because of that. And it was for a stupid reason. Why? Yes, Cartoon Network. I'm talking to you right now. They're not watching us, but whatever. <laughs> you took off Justice for two reasons. One, because toy sales weren't going too well. Now, I understand that because shows get their money based off of promotional stuff and the stuff from the store or is what they get their money from. So they didn't get enough money. But... Here's the second reason. And this is a stupid reason. Really stupid. Because too many teenage girls were watching it. Why do you cancel a show just because too many teenage girls are watching? I mean, seriously, sure. Maybe, oh, just, oh. maybe it was because they were starting to look up to... Um, uh, what's her face? The Bogor character. If anybody... I, if I were a girl, I would look up to McGann. She's, she's just... Um, Awesome. I don't know what it was. I, it's just, ah. They don't kill McGann off, do they? No. But it ended in just a worst ending, too. The last line of the show was, business as usual. That just teases... Another season. season. Hence, season three, people. Season two was We good. need a season uh, three, season four, season five. All we could get, if possible. Come on, please. Just give me up to eight seasons of this thing. Because it's worthy of it. It is. I mean, season two wasn't as good as season one. But you still need season two to complete. I've only seen, I'm only seeing one through 25. I haven't even seen, seen the final well, episode of the first season. Ah, that's awesome. Season two, you kind of need to continue and answer some questions that were left in the season finale of season one. Um, Who, what is Vandal Savage's background? Like, he's this guy who's immortal. How did he get immortal? Uh, it had to do with some meteor type thing. Oh, okay. Meteors. But you know something? They're never good. He's going to be the villain of Legends of Tomorrow, which will be great. But you know what's good? Sh because it has a team of superheroes who team up to stop Vandal Savage. What does this sound like to you? Young Justice. <gasps> Young Justice! If, okay, if Legends of Tomorrow is popular... Then that should definitely make you guys want to bring Young Justice back for no. season three. No. It'll but, just make people happier because, oh, this is like Young Justice. We don't need Young Justice anymore, which will take it down. And personally, I think that the fact that it's not going to be completely kid friendly is going to make me not like it as much. Yeah. CW although, is not known for its yeah. kid friendliness. Although they say this will be. This will be closer to a tone of Flash, but maybe even lighter, too. They want this one to, like, really be fr family-friendly. That's good. But it's still the CW, though. Yeah, CW yeah. is just... It was a rumor. If, if, it's, if, it's, if it's, it's not, like, inappropriate, they're going to make it inappropriate. Mm -hmm. in, like, I know we're quick getting up off topic. I want to say something. Originally, it was rumored for them to continue Jun Young Justice on the CW. But they didn't do it. Why not? I know. <laughs> Are you people madmen? <laughs> this is Young Justice. Young Justice. It is like the best show. And 
And then the Cartoon Network, you tried to satisfy us with bringing Teen Titans back. Everyone's like, yes, that was a great show too before Young Justice. No, Teen yes, it was. Teen but Titans no. is now just this anime thing. Now, yeah, now it's Teen Titans Go and Teen Titans Go. Now, don't get me wrong, I kind of like the show, but and I understand it's centered oh, towards little kids. It's like George Clooney Batman to me, okay? Seriously, but, that's what I think. But here's the thing. It's funny, but it's not the character that it's trying to portray. Here's where you get it wrong. No. You don't even stay with the continuity of the original show. How do you make a show connect to another show if it doesn't even make it connect to the other show? I mean, they don't like Slate. That's the connection. They, but they, they mess up everything. So, that, I mean, Beast that Boy doesn't even satisfy the Cyborg man. is irresponsible. That's not supposed to be true. Cyborg is supposed to be... I know what I have to do. And every once in a while, I'll party. He's like Batman. But not as dark. I say he's kind of Batman and Robin combined. Like, yeah. He, he's... Like, what he's doing his job, he's Batman. When he's not, he's Robin. Mm-hmm. Well, not like... Teen Titans. Go, Robin. Yeah. He has mental issues. But here's the thing, guys. Young Justice, I mean, really. Alright. This show, first of all, was amazing. You, you plus tease it this gave, Plus it gave a new twist on old, good characters. Yes, and they added characters people weren't familiar with. For, like... I forget her name right now. Artemis? Yeah, Artemis. Artemis. Nobody really knew about her at the Aqualad. time. Aqualad. Yeah. This he wasn't... He was, like, less famous than Aquaman was. And Aquaman... I did an entire paper on Aquaman and how he's not famous. They, and then, let's but see. But he has the coolest <clears throat> power. Is he originally Atlantean? Or was he originally human? I think he was originally Atlantean. Really? I thought he was human and then, he, and then Aquaman used his staff thingy to give him the gills. It could even depend. I don't know. I think in Injustice, I feel like I think he was Atlantean. In because he had, he was friends with other Atlanteans. Um, and I also liked how they did in season one. They had Miss Martian help this guy named Garth, this <gasps> little boy. Yes, that and, was the best backstory. Yes. for him. Ever. They gave did it he Garth join Logan. Eventually? And then, so what they do is they tease this. Pretty much nobody knows this guy's going to be a superhero. They just think, oh, that's cool. There's this boy and his mom, and they like Miss Martian and the character that Miss Martian based her Earth self off. Miss Martian has the ability to turn into anything she wants. She gave her blood to a kid. She's green. Who's a who's a who's a young male kid who's green and can turn into different things? Cough. Beast boy. Cough. Beast boy. <coughs> beast boy. <coughs> oh, must have a cold. It's you know this cold must be terrible. It almost sounded like I said beast boy. <gasps> that's right! It Beast was. Boy! Didn't they actually show an episode with Beast and, Boy in it? Well, see, that's the thing. They teased it, and people didn't expect it to be Beast Boy. They just thought, oh, this kid got healed. That's nice. But then season two comes around, and here you have Beast, Beast Boy, Boy being in the, in the team. And they even explain a backstory. They explain that he's that kid, and later they say that his mom died, which is sad. But it's it's cool. That they gave it back. I know. But, so, it's, it's better than the other story that they had. Yes. The yeah, untested yeah. and that but, he got because because he was what happened to him? It's weird stuff. It's almost as bad as um, uh, as the wizard's backstory. Mongoose blood makes people of fast the mongoose, right? So anyway, no, though, so you mongoose just, aren't that fast. You gave good backstories. You made rare characters popular. You, they had great stuff. And here's the thing, though. They you had this, Zatanna. Uh, they made Zatanna cool for once. You give the team the light, which was a secret organization that was finally revealed. But th at first, to when the heroes were suspecting something, they 
decided to get a new group of villains together, the Injustice League, to make it seem like the Injustice League were the real masterminds. Well, the Injustice League Joker was in, first of all. But anyway, the Injustice League... He was good. ...failed, was and they thought... Joker. I like They thought that. they ended it. But really, there was still this overarching team. Then they found out about the light, which Riddler was in. Riddler, Lex uh, Luthor, and... There were a lot of people Randall, in the light. Vandal Savage. There were a lot. Wasn't Vandal Savage in it, too? Yeah. Yeah, Vandal Savage was the lead person. And you, the rest of the whole Young Justice... there was Justice that guy yeah. with the weird accent, and he was really in the lead. You have Young Justice thinking this. Then later... So, they're the villains. And then what you get is in season two these other weird alien things. I forget their names. Oh yeah, in, in, in season one he got Starro. Wait, did they actually they didn't do anything with that later? They didn't show like a big Starro. No, they never used that. I never finished that episode. You know what that could be used in? <gasps> season three. Starro. Season three. Starro lives. Season 3 finale. Star lives. I was like, that season would be finale. amazing. And then oh. season 4, you make it be Star. So season 3 would be Dark Side. Which we're getting to. So here's the scene. There's these aliens in season oh, 2. Oh yeah, the apocalyptic stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there's these aliens that... I forgot their name, like I said earlier. But you still think the light is the main threat. And then there was also the Reach, which worked with the light. But the Reach we're not going to get into... Although, because the light was still even Who's the reach? more, um, they have all, you, they helped Blue Beetle become Blue Beetle, sort of. You need to catch up on episodes. And Blue it, Beetle, Green Be Beetle, and Black Beetle, those are the main yeah. ones, right? And then they had this overarching threat. Which one's the bad guy? The bad guy was Black Beetle, but then there was also, Green Beetle was sort of bad, because at the time he was, he got controlled by... The thing, but he did. Green's he one was actually yeah. He Green's was one of my favorite colors. So. He was actually good, but the thing was like making him bad. But then they got it. They made the scarab like they they um, uh, rebooted it or whatever. How are, oh and so corrupted? He, they Corrup corrupted the corruptness of the scarab and made it good again. Okay. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, they, so uh, they uh, had this reach, but the light was still the villain. And then you find out the light's finally defeated. You think, perfect ending. Kid Flash dies. Why? You don't end a Why? series with Kid Flash dying. You don't do that to us. You have Kid Flash die, and then you have a couple more episodes of them grieving for Kid Flash. Sorry, And then you end the series. And sorry, Cartoon Network, that... This video is long, but you know what? It's worth it. Do you watch? Do you watch debates ever? I'm not going to say what debates, because I don't want to get sued or anything. I'm just saying debates, any debate whatsoever. Debates always take at least an hour or something. This this is worth it. If debates are worth it, this could be. What were you saying about I'm um, uh, about Dark Side? Oh yeah. Well, anyway, the lights finally defeated, and then at the ending, you find out. Wait a minute. <gasps> The light was secretly working for Darkseid. So what? you had Darkseid as the real mastermind. Vandal Savage created the light because Vandal Savage was under Darkseid. So it goes Darkseid. Dar no, Darkseid, Vandal Savage, the the light, just in Injustice League. League. And, and, then, that was it. And, yeah. and then the, like, and then the little people who were doing jobs yeah. all over the yeah. place. Because the Reach weren't connected in any of that scheme. They try the light used them as pawns, but then the reach and the light, they weren't really working together. Both of them wanted to take over different mm. things. So but seriously, mm. you don't just tease this and tell fans, wait a minute, Dark Side was the real threat the whole time? And then end it. Especially with business as usual. And then you find out that G Gordon Godfrey, the guy who doesn't like the Justice League. Now, yes, that made sense. But you didn't think he had. He was just a caster. At the final scene, you see him at in a pot. And in fact, we will see you this scene if you don't remember. Right now. See what I mean? Did you see him? Young Justice needs a season three, guys. Come on. Starro created by Darkseid. I would, not, I, would, I would be cool. Wait, did Superboy get his full range of powers at the end? 
I don't remember. It's been a while. But I knew he had the shields that yeah, did it. The cool. shields, yeah. Those were cool. But yeah. You know something. Um, no, but like did he ever get like laser vision in flight? I, I don't remember. It's been a while. Two thousand thirteen. So yeah. Does that but mean that was such a bad ending? I mean Does that it, mean that Superboy is like the Hulk? He's able to jump really far and has super strength. Yeah. That's about it. And, for the good guys, you had this great ending. Now, yes, Kid Flash died. But they moved on, and it's like, okay, from this, they built a new team, new foundation. Nightwing took a break, understandable, because Kid Flash, Aqualad, and Nightwing were the founding members. So, with Kid Flash dead, it makes sense Nightwing would want to, like, take a break. But they make this new team, add new heroes, too. Like Zatanna. And, yeah, so it's like, no, Zatanna was already in. So it's like, wow, this, well, yeah, actually, she went to the Justice League later. But anyway. Oh, oh this is, am yeah, this oh, because the Tara was gone. This Wait, is amazing. What happened with the Dr. Fate thing? I don't know if he actually ever got it off. I don't know. Oh! He might have gone back. No! Anyway. anyway. So... You have this... Oh, good. Yes! Everything's restored. Season 3 is coming up. Or even if there weren't a season 3 right there, that would have been a good way to end it. The hero's getting a new start. But then you change it, and at the last scene, make it be Dark Side. You were... If you wanted to end the series, Cartoon Network, you could have at least had the creators take out that last scene. And then I would have been content with the ending, just because we know that good was, like, restored in this new team together. But if you add this dark side thing, that definitely means there needs to be a season 3. You can't just make us have a plot and then end it there. The creators didn't even want to end it. Cartoon Network. Bring back Gun Justice for season 3. And fans, continue the trend. Like the YouTube page, which we're not associated with, but I liked it too. Young Justice needs a season 3. Hashtag season 3 Young Justice. Or Young Justice season. I'm all we here. Hashtag, Hashtag Deb did it. Deb did, Deb did it first. first. Like, comment, share. Follow us on Google Plus. Subscribe. And live, live long, long and prosper. prosper. Thanks for watching, guys.